All right, so we've just been road cruising, looking for green pythons, and I've just spotted one. Ready for this? Have a go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh, he's grumpy. He's ready to have a go. Come here, mate. Target species. <laughs> oh, my lord. Come here, Kyla. Oh. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Look at that. Look at that. The sun's only just gone down. And we're straight on to one. Chondro python. Morelia viridis. Green tree python. Look at that. Look at that yellow belly. Do we need to change lights or are we going around? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> can you see the screen? You can see the green like there, yeah. Can't go any closer. What a beautiful snake. One of the main species that I was coming up here, hoping to show you guys. I thought it'd be a really nice thing to put on, to put on show for you. These guys are only found in Australia in this tiny, tiny area today. Um, we drove up here to Cape York Peninsula. Um, took us, oh, we left, we left last night, but we got up here today, which is about 10 hours north of Cairns. Um, and there's a few endemic species that live up here, and this is one of them there, and they're found in this tiny little patch of rainforest here. And then the next spot they're found is up in Papua New Guinea. So, yeah, pretty, pretty cool snakes. We'll go down. And we'll go down out of here. Look at that. All right. What a snake, eh? Hey? What a snake. So I just spotted this snake and he was coming out of where he would have been sheltering in the day or his daytime refuge. And he'd be coming out and he'd have some a few known spots around this area where he'd go and he'd set up ambush. And where they would be would be like a line that regularly gets ran by mammals or birds or um, yeah things like that and they'll usually sit you know a, a foot or two off the ground they'll curl up the rear half of their body and they'll aim themselves downwards and they'll just be sitting there and they'll wait there all night and just wait on the path that's regularly used by little nocturnal mammals and things like that and um, when something runs past he'll just whack him he's got these he's got these heat sensing pits on the side of his on his bottom of his lower jaw I don't know if we can see them with the GoPro, but if not, we'll get a close up on the phone later so you can see. And um, and as well as his sight, and so when he when something's within a certain range, he'll pick up those heat sensing pits with his jaw. He also has his forked tongue, with like all like all snakes do. They'll pick up the scent, and then he's also got sight as well. So he'll he'll sit there, he'll wait, and he'll do it for nights on end until he catches something. And then as soon as he gets a feed, he'll go up into the top of the canopy and he'll sit up there patches of sunlight coming through and he'll digest his feed and then he'll come down and do the same thing again and these guys will also feed on reptiles they'll also feed on frogs but i think they definitely favor mammals and then probably birds so yeah but really cool snake stoked to find one and show you guys it's, we've only been we've only been going for like 20 minutes or something so i dare say we'll find another couple of these things they're pretty common so i'm not going to spend too much time with it but um yeah, really cool. Look how nice that that white lateral line is down it. And that's typical for our Aussie greens. So the green pythons come from all fruit, New Guinea and parts of Indonesia. Um, and everywhere they come from, they basically look different. But our Aussies, our trademarks are a beautiful bright green. They have those that white pinstripe down their back, yellow belly, 
and sometimes they get flushes of blue through them or sometimes they are even almost completely blue rarely but um it does happen but um it isn't uncommon to see them with with blue patches in them but this guy doesn't seem to have any they've also got on the tip of their tail you see he has this slightly different color tail tip and they caudal lure with that much like a death adder or something would and they'll sit there waiting it's a different style of ambushing and they'll sit there and they'll wait and they'll wriggle around that caudal lure and something won't see the snake sitting so motionless but they'll just see that little lure wriggling and they'll think that it's a bird or i mean <laughs> and they'll think that, and a bird or something will think that it's a worm or a grub or whatever moving around just a little bit of movement doesn't doesn't take much to bring any sort of animal in really they'll come in to check that out and he'll smash them another good way for him to get a feed all right well i'm not going to keep this guy long because it's really early in the night and if we're seeing stuff within this early i'm sure we're going to see more so i'm sort of um i'm killing i'm wasting valuable time that we could be seeing things with him so hopefully i'll let him go now we'll get back on the road and um we'll find a couple more and more we'll some other species and we can keep doing this we've got, still got a few nights here that we're going to see plenty of these i hope so we'll get him back and we will continue road cruising gonna let this beautiful snake go now we're gonna get back on the road hopefully find some more and hopefully find some other species straight back off you go mate what an experience Alright, it's not a green python, but it's this exact same colour. Oh. oh, he looks sick. Oh, I'm blowing him out, sorry. Hang on, let me get a photo of that, because that's a really good fucking photo. Oh no, he's going to move. So this guy here is the white-lipped tree frog. They're the largest frog in Australia, or the longest frog. I'm pretty sure the largest one is like 31 centimetres or something, which is absolutely insane. This one here is not very big, if you compare him to my hand, but I'm not going to touch it because frogs have sensitive skin. He's posing beautifully for me. So we can just, we can just film him here and then we'll keep, we'll keep travelling on our way because We'll see more of these and I want to see more snakes, but what a beautiful animal. He's going in that cryptic pose, just hugging the tree instead of being out in a more ambushish jumping on some food sort of position but anyway we're gonna get out of his way leave him be good start to the night come on are you oh, okay have a go at the new lights holy dooly quick pull up at a creek crossing found us another white lip And then, 
another quick where was he up here right up the other side another one this one's a bit darker I'd probably call this to be a male frog but I ain't no frog expert beautiful animals still nothing with a great deal of size decent sized frogs but in white lip in white lip scales it ain't nothing get back on the road didn't even get to take off spotted another species far out this thing's a beast for a brown frog, oh my lord. He's out of there. Getting some local produce. No, it's not quite ready. Native passion fruit. And there. Oh. Look at all those packing fruits. But they're not ready, so I'll just leave them. <laughs> Maybe I'll get them in a week or two. Just about ready to call it quits. Cruising back, I'm talking about cooking a feed. We're both getting tired, and I got my head hanging out the left hand side. Kyla's looking out the right hand side, and she just pulled up and she spotted this water python sitting out the side of her door. So, pretty impressive find. She didn't actually, she didn't actually have her torch I on. I didn't have a torch on. She didn't have her torch on. I thought it was a stick, I was like, hang on. Stopped. And she's like, Stopped. I, think, I was like, I think it is. Yeah, I think it's a snake. So I hopped out and I ran around, and sure enough, yeah, beautiful big water python. Well, not big, but a beautiful water python here. These snakes are found the whole way across the top end of Australia, um, all the way from far north Queensland over to Broome in Western Australia. They favour um, swampy type habitats or just damp areas like water python. You know, I think it sort of says enough about them. They like they like to live in water or around water or in this case we're in the rainforest so there's always a lot of water around um, they're not too fussy in what they feed on they'll take birds they'll take mammals they'll take reptiles there's photos of them eating baby crocodiles they're really not fussy at all they get pretty big they'll get like seven eight foot long this one here is probably only maybe four foot um, and these are the rainbow serpents so um, a lot of Australians have all seen the all read the book about the rainbow serpent the aboriginal dream time story about it creating the water so this is that serpent and i don't know whether we can pick it up in the gopro but the iridescent the colors that this thing is throwing when you move it and the refraction of the light it's just absolutely beautiful but it's doing it it's doing it right now but i don't know if the gopro will pick it up and they notoriously have this really really bright yellow belly these are stunning snakes these are one of my favorites a lot of people for some reason or a lot of reptile people i talk to don't really like them but i have a massive massive soft spot for water pythons look at this thing it's absolutely stunning sometimes they can be a bit nasty they have a bit of a reputation to be grumpy but this one isn't biting me it's not defensive at all but it is musking me which i'd rather cop 30 bites than to get musked on the musk is like a pheromone they release out of their gland um out of out of their vent or their cloaca um and it's just like a deterrent thing and uh, pretty much all snakes do it but it's not really something that you want especially a snake of this size because it wipes it all over you see how he's crawling on me everywhere he goes i'm going to be like dead old wiping my hands after this but it's worth it because I love these snakes and I love showing them off to people. So, anyway, grab a couple pics of him. We'll get a bit more 
close-up footage of him to show off how stunning this beautiful creature is. And then we'll get him back So I'm hungry and I'm tired and I'm calling it for the night, to be honest, so, yeah. Okay, because I found this snake, I'm gonna let it go. Spotting baby. Thank you. Just spotted this brown tree snake. Oh, another different variation again. We've seen a lot of these this trip. And this one is just a uniform brown. Almost no bands at all. And he's sussing something out right there. Doesn't seem to be too concerned about me. Hey mate. What are you doing? Very nice snakes though. I love these snakes. Extremely common. But always a good find. Off you guys. All right, so we set up camp for the night. Tent's done. Gas burners going under there. I got some steaks. I just whacked a bit of pepper on them. I got no salt. I bought two of these, thinking that I. I no, nah, I thought I thought that we had. I thought we had no pepper, so I bought another pepper, but we had no salt. So now we got two peppers and no salts. So I was gonna. No, I'll put a bit of oil on that. Kyla's got tofu. She's a veg, eh? Oh, we should have cooked mine first. Yeah, I should have. Cooking 
Gene stay juice. Gene knife? Where's a knife at? Really. Don't give it to me. I already cut myself. Where's? Still can't see. How many do you want? Two. <laughs> Good eh? Yeah. They don't take long. How'd we go? Oh mate, it's fine. Considering that they're such thin steaks, it's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Just pepper it, but <laughs> you put so much on. <laughs> pretty nice steak, but mm -hmm. considering it's paper thin. Scotch fillet though, or wild bash. My <laughs> <laughs> tofu. Will you eat them off this plate? Yeah. Oh wait, what, your one? Mm. Are we trying to save? Yeah, we only got three. <laughs> We're on rations with the plates. We only got three plates, so you're going to have to. Mm, yeah, righto. Are you... Oh, you can just eat them off this plate. Yeah, I'll just... Yeah, okay. Let that cool down. Yeah, it's going to hurt. What? I'm so hungry. Tofu is the best.